What's up all you Fortnite noobs and new bets? Toysh is here and I got a really rockin' fresh look for you today. We are totally going to be checking out the brand new Jazzwares 6 inch scale Fortnite action figures, specifically the wild card character. Now, these started to pop up about a week and a half ago around the Walmart areas and that's where I came across mine as well. These were hinted at at New York Toy Fair and they really only showed off one. 20 bucks, you get a whole bunch of pieces. You get eight different pieces. The figure is included. And I am digging the whole open window box. It's just, I don't know why. It looks very inviting. It's not obtrusive. It's visible from all areas. You got the side, the front, this side, the top. I like the little design work. Very interesting. You got the wild card character right there. 40 points of articulation. And again, eight pieces inside. Wild card right there. On the back, eh, it's okay. Doesn't really do it for me, but it's all right. It looks like a lot of the other Fortnite toys and everything else. Very kind of blank. Really wish they would do more. Maybe doing something showing off the actual figure itself instead of just a computer video game mock-up, that kind of thing. And then all of Series 1, the Visitor, Skull Trooper, Havoc, Rabbit, Raider, and the Enforcer, with more dropping in soon. And again, this is Jazzwares foray into the 6-inch territory, $20 price point. Let's do this. This is the Jazzwares Fortnite 6-inch wildcard. And while I got all you wild cards here, I just want to say thanks so much for checking out my fresh look. If you liked wildcard, make sure to hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and let's leave a comment Tell me what you think about this new scale action figure series. And here's old wild card out of the packaging and everything you see here comes with the figure. Bunch of face plates, a gun, a rocket launcher, a briefcase case, and also a crowbar with a nice 40 points of articulated figure. You really can't go wrong with that, but how exactly does it feel? Let's say in comparison to more $20 price point figures, Marvel Legends, DC Multiverse, the like. It's actually pretty spot on, to be quite honest with you. Now, what you do get is the figure itself. And as you can see, I removed all the face plates. So basically you get like a blank head for this particular figure. Other figures in the six inch line do come with separate face portraits. This one is basically just swapping out the face plates. So if you wanted to get four of these particular figures, you know, you'd have quite the set of cards to be quite honest with you. I'm digging the jacket, I'm digging the suit, I like the color of the suit, not a whole heck of a lot of paint as you can see. The, what there is painted, it's a little sloppy just to be honest with you. As you can see up close just looking at the black tie around the white collared shirt and then of course the black neck. It does bleed a little bit, it's just it's a little bit kind of hazy fuzzy especially in the tie right there on the sides. Not too distracting, but it is there. Let's just be honest. So it goes from molded plastic to molded plastic. You got nice painted white buttons. I do appreciate that. A white painted collared shirt, black tie, black painted neck on the backside. The parts of his mask are molded in this white. And then this of course is all painted as well. He has these hands that are just black plastic, the shoes are black plastic, everything that's paint wise exists in this area mostly. That's not to say that his wonderful weapons are not painted though. We'll get to those in just a second. So basically what you do, you select which suit you want and I think we're gonna go with the spades just because that is my particular favorite one and then you would just snap it right onto the face and that's actually pretty cool. If you were wondering, do these things come off? I mean, you can smack it, hit it, do anything you want. This is how hard you have to do to get the mask off. There you go. I'm, and that's pushing up with your thumb, just FYI. So let's see, do they all fit correctly? Yeah, and they all look good. Like I said, you have to really just pop these things off in order to, ooh, I like that. That's, that's a cool one. I like that a lot, the club, the... That might be my favorite one. Let's keep that head on him. And then of course you also have the heart. But this one, I'm digging that one. That is pretty, pretty awesome. Very cool. So just in terms of articulation, it does boast 40 points of articulation. So I'll show you exactly what it does. He looks up about that much. He looks down 
about that much. And then he is on a... It's on a ball. Basically, that's it. And I will show you. We can swap out the heads, see what looks great, if we can swap it with other toy lines as well. We'll see. The jacket, if you wanted to, is removable, and it looks to be quite easy to do. You just kind of slip it off. He has rotation, and it ratchets. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Ratchets at the shoulders. It's got biceps, swivel, double jointed elbows. And this, this is my favorite, I think, right here. He has wrist rotation, up, down, left, right. And then he also has swivels in the fingers. Now, it's all one part for his main grip, but it does, if you want to use, like, larger weapons, for those photographers, you want them to hold something, you know, it, you can kind of make it work a little bit better. He will always have that trigger finger kind of thing going on, so regardless if he's holding a bat or something like that, but... It's actually kind of cool because you can kind of get him in that pointing or if you want him holding a gun, that's actually pretty cool. I'm digging that a whole heck of a lot. Now, he does have a waist swivel, rocks back pretty successfully. That's, that's pretty good. He goes back, goes forward. That's actually pretty nice. He's also got swivel at the waist and then everything kind of just moves. He can You can get him, I'll put him in some poses in just a second, but... That's actually pretty good. He kicks out to the side, kicks out to the front, doesn't really kick out to the back, not a big deal to me. He's got thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and he has foot swivel rotation, that's pretty cool. Also a mid-calf rotation, that's actually pretty cool. And he's got toe pivot as well. This is a pretty articulated figure, I gotta say. It's got some added points that Marvel Legends definitely don't have. It's got a couple few that DC Multiverse don't have, but oddly enough, uh, you know, that's actually a pretty good figure. He's got a hole in his back. I'll show you that's where the briefcase goes if you want to fix that. I think a lot of you are going to be pretty happy with this suited body, and I see a lot of people, even if you're not into Fortnite, if this is something new you want to collect... Or for other lines, you know, a lot of people were saying, heck, it's good for mobster bodies, it's good for the Royal Flesh Gang, something like that. You'll find something to do with this guy. But for me, I'm digging, I'm digging the line. I think they're pretty cool. That's pretty impressive, I gotta say. I'm, I'm impressed. Very well done, Jazzwares. He comes with this briefcase, and I'll show you. It is fixes to his back. It's like the whole thing of Fortnite. With, they have little backpacks and such. I don't play the game. I just really am a big fan of the Jazzwares 3 and 3 quarter inch. So that right then and there sold me on these figures as well. The handcuffs, unfortunately, they don't do anything. They are just attached to the top of the briefcase. That would have been cool to have a pair of handcuffs. You could have done something with that. But the one thing I will say, these look and feel very brittle. They're all painted nicely. Everything's like a silver so it looks good, but this, if you hit it the wrong way or you move it the wrong way, that is going to snap right there at the chain. That feels very brittle, to be quite honest with you. And unfortunately, the briefcase does not open, which is a bummer. And then, of course, it fits onto his back just like that. And that is his little briefcase case that he carries around and does stuff in the video game with. He comes with this gun as well. It's painted nice. It's got black. It's got a gun metal effect to it. That's really nice. Doesn't really connect where the trigger is. Let's see if he holds it well. Now, see, this is what I'm saying in terms of, you know, with this added hand rotation. You, yeah, he holds it really nicely. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm digging that a lot. This is actually a really well-painted weapon <laughs> it's got the mouth it's got some eyes got some really nice green going on brown mix goes into this like gun metal effect of the gray and the black the brown it's a really nice painted accessory and this again goes hand in hand with opening his hand a little bit better to hold larger weapons so that's good and once you kind of get it into some poses he actually he holds it really well and then of course lastly he comes with a crowbar it's a little bit of a flexible material. It's not rubber, it's just a very light plastic. This is painted nicely. It's got that silver for the actual bar, and then it has like a very patterned wrap around it. So I'm digging that as well. This, this, this is cool. 
I'm I'm digging these figures. That's actually and then you know when he stand imagine four of those with all these masks. That's a great folly. That's a good henchman character right there. So in terms of scaling, even though they are listed at a six inch mark, as you can see from recent DC multiverse figures, he's about just about over five and a half inches. The Joker is a little over six, Batman Beyond is over six because of his ears. It does give a little bit of height difference between bad guys. So that's not bad in that sense. He does look a little bit small when compared to more six inch type figures. It, yeah, you know, you're gonna have to make up your decision if you think it fits. Actually, to be quite honest with you, I don't know if it exactly fits. It's more of a slimmer body. If he had a little bit more girth to him, I would say it'd fit better, but he looks more to be like on a young buck kind of build to him. So a good henchman, yeah, if you can get over the size, yeah, it's not bad at all, but just something to think about. And of course, here he is paired up with some Marvel Legends from Hasbro. You got Venom and the recent yellow-coated Spidey. These again, you know, you got the bigger buck. You're going to have a smaller figure. He does fit in comparison to this Spider-Man. So you can't really go wrong with that. Might be fun to web him up, have him in a big webbing. He's got going up against Spidey, something like that. You could do a Mr. Negative custom for all you customizer out there. I think he actually fits a little bit better with the Marvel Legends series, if we're being quite honest with you. And it might just be that the figures I picked out in particular, but yeah, it, that looks pretty cool too. And here he is paired up with another one of Jazzwares three and three quarter inch Fortnite action figures. And here's a couple of the effects that come with the more builder type figures. It's very, very cool to see, you know, especially with an area to kind of display his mass or his weapons, something like that, might make for a good diorama for your Fortnite shelf or just if you wanted to get him as a hideout Batman shelf, something like that. And just to show a few more scales, you got the NECA Eternals. If you wanted to do kind of like a bad guy kind of thing, maybe a crime boss family, you have the Mezco Gomez figure, which as you can see is very out of scale. And then of course the Diamond Select, the recent rogue that they did. I would suggest Marvel Legends, if anything, DC Multiverse works to a certain extent, but I think Marvel Legends DC Multiverse is where you're gonna hit your exact sweet spot. And just to show some quick comparison between some other suited gentlemen, you got that Kingpin from Marvel Legends and the recent Professor X. Let's do some head swapping as well. Now the wildcard figure's head was a little bit harder to take off than let's say most Marvel Legends. It was almost on par with some DC Multiverse, although I could never seem to get those off in a timely fashion to be quite honest with you. But if you wanted to see Professor X's head on this body, a little bit too big if we're being completely honest. And then the wildcard head is entirely too small for the Professor X ball joint. It doesn't look too bad. We can swap a few more out. Here's Batman Beyond. Again, a little bit too big. Here's the more basic 5-inch Spider-Man. That actually fits pretty well. The head actually just rests on top of the ball. It's not going to us fix. Here's the more Marvel Legends 6-inch Spidey. That actually doesn't look too bad. I actually, <laughs> I kind of like that. Here he is in Professor X's hover chair. It works. Again, the head is too big. I think most Marvel Legend heads, most DC Multiverse heads are gonna be way too big to fit, but you can kind of work around it, fix it, do it how you like. So that is gonna do it for my fresh look at the brand new six inch scale Jazzwares wildcard action figure. I hope you guys enjoyed this look into him and I hope it answers a few questions that you may or may not have had. And I'm happy to answer any other further questions. Just comment below down in the comment section and I will get to you. I I actually like I like this figure a lot. I'll tell you quite honestly, it's great articulation. I'm really digging the accessories, and he can kind of work for other lines in some sense. Marvel Legends, DC Multiverse. You might be kind of pushing it with other things, just FYI. But I want to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk about these new Jazzwares six-inch Fortnite action figures. I'm excited to check out the rest as well. But until then, I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, I'm just one of those people where I'm digging the action figures and I, I tried with the game. I really did. But when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.